What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again here today with graphing ordered pairs in all four quadrants. Let's dive in and take a look at our objective. Our objective today, today I will be able to plot points in all four quadrants of the coordinate plane. If you're following along with our coordinate plane playlist, you'll know that we've been only doing things in the first quadrant. Today we're going to take it to the next level and work in all four. Let me introduce you to the coordinate plane, the math map that reminds you of the battleship game. Before we do that though, we need a quick review of what we've been talking about in our lesson so far. You know our coordinate plane is a two-dimensional plane uh, made of two different number lines, one's vertical, one's horizontal. The horizontal one is called the x-axis and the uh, vertical one is called the y-axis. The way I remember that is a y goes up and down, so that's got to be the vertical one. And then if that one's the vertical one, the other one has to be the X. I don't have a cool way to remember that. Our two number lines split this coordinate plane into four quadrants, which are kind of like our four neighborhoods. We've been spending all of our time so far in the first quadrant. Today, we're going to take those same skills and we're just going to apply them to the other three quadrants. And if it's a map, we need directions. So our directions are our ordered pairs, right? We're going to get two numbers, two corresponding terms. One's, the first one's going to be the x coordinate. It's going to tell us how far to go on our x. And the second one's going to be the y coordinate, tell you how far to go up and down the y axis. And we always start in the middle, the intersection of the x and y axis. We call that the origin. This is where we always start before we move along the x or the y. We know our number one rule of the coordinate plane is... You've got to shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the stairs. You've got to shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the stairs. You've got to shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the stairs. You've got to shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the stairs. You got to shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the steps. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's almost like I did say it in that song. The uh, high pitched person was me. I really. You got to shuffle on the carpet. Perfect. Okay. Nailed it. Uh, yes, this is our rule of the coordinate plane, and it doesn't change no matter what quadrant we are graphing. And again, this is just a math convention. It, there's no really rhyme or reason to it other than people just decided a long time ago that this is the best way to do it. And everybody follows these rules so nobody gets confused. You got to shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the steps. So even if you're not familiar with negative numbers, this won't be super difficult. I want to plot these points on the coordinate plane. Now, this is a different way to show you than we've talked about before. This is just like a pattern chart, except instead of going vertical with, with all our X coordinates lined up and then our Y coordinates lined up next to it, we're going horizontal. So your ordered pairs are still your X and then your Y. So your first ordered pair is going to be negative 3, 2. Now, again, we always start the origin. The negative sign just tells you to go left or down. So if I want negative 3, I'm still going to move 3 away from the origin, but the negative sign tells me to move in the opposite direction of the positive 3. So I'm going to move opposite 1, 2, 3, shuffle over negative 3, and then my 2 is positive, which means I'm going to climb up 1, 2. So this is going to be my ordered pair, negative 3, Two. And again, you don't need to write down your order pair next to your uh, point that you plotted, but I'm just doing it so you can kind of see. My next one's going to be 5, negative 6. So if I wrote it conventionally, I would have written 5, negative 6. So I'm going to start at my origin. I have a positive 5, which means I'm going to shuffle to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have a negative 6. Okay, so typically we've been going up 6. The negative sign tells me to move away from the uh, x-axis 6 down okay but because it's negative I do the opposite of the positive so it just tells me to go down 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is where the point 5 negative 6 would be my next one is 0 negative 3 so again I start at the origin my x is 0 which means I'm not shuffling anywhere I have no value I'm just staying the same and then I'm going down 3 because it was a negative 3 the negative just tells me to go opposite of the positive so if positive is, positive is up then negative would be down 1 2 3 and this is where you would plot the point 0 negative 3 okay and then my last one negative 2 
negative one. I'm gonna start the origin. I'm going to shuffle backwards two because it was negative two. And then I'm going to go down one because it was a negative one. And so my, co uh, my coordinate's gonna be negative two, negative one. If you look at this, I didn't plot any in the first quadrant. I plotted one in the second quadrant. I plotted one in the third quadrant and I plotted one in the fourth quadrant, and then I had one that was right on my Y axis. As you get more and more into this, you're gonna to start to notice some patterns, okay? If your two numbers are positive, you'll always end up in the first quadrant. If your X is negative and your Y is positive, you're always gonna end up in the number two neighborhood or the second quadrant. If both numbers are negative, you're gonna end up in the third quadrant. And if your X coordinate's positive and your Y coordinate's negative, you're always going to end up in the fourth quadrant. You'll start to see that the more you do. Let's try this we do problem. Now I've written these conventionally just with the parentheses, and we know that we shuffle on the carpet before we climb up the steps. So if we want to do negative two, negative five, we're gonna start the origin, shuffle back two, because it was negative two, shuffle down five, because it was negative five, and that would be my first point. This would be negative two, negative five. I'm in the third quadrant because both of them were negative. If I want to do two, five, I'd start at the origin. I'd shuffle to the right because it's positive two, and then I'd go up positive five, and I would end up at two, five, okay? And I end up in the first quadrant because both of these are, are positive numbers. My third point was negative four, three. So I'm going to shuffle back negative four because it was a negative four. So I'm gonna shuffle four away from the origin and then up three. And this would be the point negative four, three. And again, I'd be in the second quadrant because my X was negative and my Y was positive. My last one is six, negative three. So I'm gonna shuffle over six because it was a positive six and I'm going to go three down because it was a negative three. And my last ordered pair would be here at six, negative three. And this is in the fourth quadrant because my X was positive and my Y was negative. If you look at these ordered pairs, you can kind of see the numbers or the pattern I was just talking about. Both of these are positive, first quadrant. X is negative, Y is positive, second quadrant. Both X and Y negative, third quadrant. And if the X is positive, but the Y is negative, you end up in the fourth quadrant. So you can kind of see the pattern that I was just talking about during our I do problem. Let's try this you try problem. If you are ready, you can go ahead and pause the video and plot these on your notes and then push play to see how you did. I put the ordered pairs in a pattern chart like we worked on last lesson if you've been following our playlist. When you're ready, push play and we can check them. Hopefully you just push pause and now you're checking your answer. So I'll, I'll go over them pretty quickly. My first one was four, zero. So I'm gonna shuffle over four and then my Y coordinate was zero. So I'm gonna end up right here. Negative three, zero. I'm going to shuffle over negative three. And again, I didn't go anywhere. So my point would be right on the X axis negative five, negative two. I'm gonna shuffle backwards five because it's negative five and shuffle down or go down the stairs to the basement two because it was negative two and it'd be negative five, negative two. And then my last one would be six, negative one. So I'm gonna start my origin. I'm gonna shuffle over six and then go down one because it was a negative one. And these are where your four points should be that you plotted. Hopefully what you see is even though it's all four quadrants, the rule is the exact same and it's pretty easy as long as you just follow the directions and follow the rule. You gotta shuffle on the carpet before you climb up the steps. As always, we would love to have you like the video and subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'd love to have you follow us there as well. Please check out our coordinate plane song if you need a refresher or reminder or you just wanna dance to a dope beat. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you spending your time with Instructed Beats. Instructed Beats, out.